Hi, I'm Will Scully with AudioSavings.com. We're here at NAM 2012. I'm standing here with Phil at the QSC booth. Phil, how are you, sir? I'm doing well today. How are you guys? Awesome. Good. Thanks, man. So we've got the new KLAs. These just dropped this year, correct? Uh, they dropped about six months ago. It's okay. a KLA series. Okay. And what KLA series is a fixed arcuate line array. It's a powered line array solution that we have. Um, quickly to give you uh, the 10,000 foot view, if you will. Yeah, Each KLA uh, module um, is a 90 horizontal by 18 vertical dispersion. Okay. Um, some of the cool things, very simple to rig together. Let me show you guys that. The rigging is simply a click and a and the turn of a lever to, to deploy or to click or rig your two boxes together. You simply push a button, the hook comes up, grabs onto the enclosure that's above it. Locks Sim into place. Turn it down, locks into place. You're snug to get out, you simply Undo. How many can we stack together with, uh, with this particular line array? We could array? do up to five KLA-12 boxes in a single hang. That'll give you a, uh, a hang of, of 90 by 90. Okay. Remember, everyone is 90 horizontal, 18 vertical. As far as the dispersion so goes. 90 by 18, two of his 90 by 36, 90 by 54 if we go to three box hangs, et cetera, et cetera. That's nice, and I like the way it snaps together. I mean, I don't, I don't think uh, I've seen that before. No, it's uh, very unique makes rigging you literally can pin two of these together in less than 10 seconds. In just a couple of seconds. Okay, yeah. good. So let's go over our IO on the back. I see we've got some uh... Here's the here's the power module for the KLA12. Basically what we're looking at, we have power con in and through, so we're able to loop between boxes when doing our hang. Okay. We have uh, XLR in and through and again uh, jump between each enclosure as you move your audio signal. Daisy chain them together. Yeah, um, we include the uh, the power con jumps as well as the XLR cables in the box with it. Okay. Uh, some of the other things in the back, this is our crossover setting. If we're using an external sub like the KLA-181, which includes fly hardware to match along with this, um, you simply just say I'm using an external sub. And it'll cut some of the low end it cuts uh, at load off these guys. Okay, cool. If we have it in normal mode, um, it's just a full range box. If okay. we put it into deep mode, deep stands for digitally enhanced excursion protection. Basically, we're able to manage the LF transducer to get more bottom end out of it, so it gets nice. something a little bit lower. Beautifully done. Okay. Um, a couple other things, cool things about it. The this dial here or says array size or boxes. Basically, what we do, if, we just tell the box how many units we have in an array. So if we had three KLA-12s in our array, we simply dial every every one to three. It will automatically tune and configure for that number of boxes so that the HF keeeps up with the LF output. Very good. What's it doing exactly? Are we, are we uh, messing with uh, any of the, uh, the EQ on that? Yes. Basically, we're adjusting the HF output. It's more, uh, we're bumping the HF, the gain of the HF also, as well as sliding it back a little bit just because, remember, with the line array system, as we as we start to build, we start to couple that bottom end. The bottom exactly. end gets really big, so we have to have some HF to keep up with. Perfect. That. Well done. And then we've got uh, just your standard attenuation standard right here attenuation as well. Attenuation here. One other very cool thing that I like to point out: um, each power module only draws 2.3 amps. To put that into so, um, household terms, if you will, basically you can plug a five-box KLA system into a regular house outlet. Okay. We're talking about less than a 12 amp draw using a KLA system. So low power, uh, low power demand for these guys. Let's put it this way. If you had two hair dryers yeah. or five KLA boxes, your hair dryers are going to trip the breakers long before the KLA 12. So low. keep the electricity bill down too. I like it. Okay, well this is a fantastic speaker. This is definitely uh, for, for pro applications. Pro. You've got a, a mean line rate and it looks like you could, you could set up a huge stack just in a matter of minutes. I mean the way they hook together yep. is... Uh, is, is genius. So yep. again, Phil, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. All right. I'm Will and this is AudioSavings.com.